I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. What up? <laughs> How's the honey bee bees? It's me, Byron Shears, Busy B, your gay bae. And I'm back with another video here on our channel. You guys, today, today, today. Okay, so you've already seen this beat, or maybe you haven't seen this beat, but you will see this beat. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you're not a beauty bee just yet, what are you guys waiting on? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, down below. Change it from red to gray. Next to it, you will see a little bell that'll appear. Okay, click that bell. Next to it, you will see all. Make sure you hit all, okay? If you wanna get all the notifications that we're gonna have here on our channel, come back to the hive, enjoy beauty with us. We have so many great products. You guys, I'm trying my best to be consistent with the holidays, holiday blues, and just, Oh my God, just with everything, it's been just a little bit difficult, okay? But if you can hang in there with me, we are going to make it and we're going to shine bright in 2021. I believe that. <laughs> so you guys, today is not necessarily like a tutorial, although I've already filmed this look. Today we're gonna do more so like a demonstration, almost like a demo with the new Iman Cosmetic. Well, it's not new girl it's just new to our channel okay the iman conceal foundations these are new on our channel iman sent me a slew of products this summer and when i was sitting down trying to think of exactly what i wanted to film for you guys on today i was thinking to myself okay so we can do an eye look and let's go over these iman cosmetics because all of the products that she sent me were absolutely beautiful. I ended up using the brow pencil in my brows on today. So I'll go ahead on and insert a small clip of that right now. But I really like this pencil because it's dark enough, but it's also light enough, okay? And it's a traditional pencil. So you can go ahead on and sharpen it and get that sharpness back. And it really defined and made my brows look really good and I'm happy with that. In this video, you guys will actually see me use the foundation, test the foundation, and kind of like give my thoughts about the foundation. I haven't had a chance to like wear it for a long period of time uh, just yet, but from what I can see, I think the foundation is absolutely beautiful. So if you guys are interested in Iman Cosmetics and you want to see how her foundation performs on my skin, make sure you keep watching. Also, are you guys following me on my Instagram platform or on my Facebook business page? If not, you guys should really go over there and check me out. I like to have fun. There are some upcoming giveaways that we're gonna be doing really, really soon here on our channel. And those pages are most certainly gonna be linked to the giveaway. If you guys wanna check that out, look into the description box down below. There you will see the links to my Instagram Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook page. I can't wait to see you over there. <laughs> you guys, we're just gonna jump right down into the video. Today is, like I said, about Iman Cosmetics. So enough of me talking. I don't wanna ramble. You guys know I will ramble because I love you so much. <laughs> we're just gonna get right down into the video because hey, I know that that's exactly what you came to see. So my eyes are already done. And I'm just going to go in with some Milk Hydro Primer. I told y'all before, I really like this primer. I think I was mad late to the party. But this primer is really, really nice. I'm going to use this one on today. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to see how this foundation applies and works with this primer. So this is a conceal foundation so it's like foundation and concealer all in one they sent me three shades they sent me earth one clay two 
and Sand 3, with Sand 3 being the lightest, like super light. So I'm gonna go in with Earth 1 and then Clay 2, just as I normally would. Well, not quite. I'll use Earth 1 all over and I'll use Clay 2 as a concealer. And we'll see kind of sort of like how that plays out. All right, so I'm gonna use Earth 1 with my Juvia's Place foundation brush. And I'm just gonna kind of place it on the skin because I really want to see how this foundation is going to look solely by itself with nothing else. Uh, skin already prepped and primed and y'all know. I like to get my neck because I do have discoloration on my neck and a really good foundation takes care of that and hides that for me. So when I'm looking for like a good foundation, I always try to see if it's going to get rid of the discoloration that's on my neck. So let's go in with our Juvia's Place brush. And I'm just gonna start stippling the foundation in. Off the bat, I noticed that Earth is a little red. It's, it's definitely a little red though. But the coverage is there. I would say from the first layer, this is medium, medium coverage. It's not giving me full. No, it's not giving me full. The coverage is medium this far, but it's pretty though. Yeah, it's a little deep, but it is pretty. I'm gonna go in with two more pumps, but this time instead of using a brush, I'm not two more pumps, one pump, sorry. But this time instead of using a brush, I'm gonna go in with a sponge, and then hopefully the sponge will lift any extra product that I may have. the skin I'm pulling a little Sandra Deluxe there and let's just see let's just see okay so I'm gonna use my OPV beauty sponge and I'm gonna stipple and let's just see it's not like full opaque coverage though but it is pretty if you like full blown like full coverage maybe not so much but this is just enough though this is just enough coverage i right, gotta move my bell pepper and get up in there i like the color it's a little a little red but it's very pretty though and it feels good on the skin. <clears throat> My skin doesn't feel heavy. Actually, I don't even feel like I have anything on, which is always really, really good. So I didn't get any contouring from Iman. I'm gonna go in and do my contour before I um, put the light back into my face. So I'm gonna do that off camera using my Juvia's Place, and then I'll be right back. So right now I'm just blending out my Juvia's Place contour. I use the foundation stick and a little of the concealer. And I know it looks dark right now, but it's gonna lighten up once we put our highlights in. All right, so now that we've done all of that, I'm gonna use the Clay 2, because remember this is foundation and concealer, and I'm gonna use it on a MAC 288 brush. And as you guys can see, it's just gonna brighten those areas right back up for me. So this is gonna issue in the light so that not only do I not look too dark, 
but also so my face won't just look one dimensional. I like doing the contours first. Well, that's just what I've been feeling lately. I like doing the contours first because it helps me not take my highlight too bright or my under eye too bright. So I really like that. This is what I'm feeling today. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Morphe setting spray on my little micro beauty blender. I'm gonna blend this baby out, starting with the forehead, then underneath my jaw, and then I'll go in underneath the eyes. I will say this though, this is drying up on me. It's kind of drying kind of quickly. So to use it as a concealer, trying to do the dry down method that so many people love to do, I'm not sure if you want to do that with this one, okay? Because this is drying. Like, it doesn't feel dry, I'm just saying it, it dries, it's drying. All right, this is really, really pretty and it is coming together, but I wanna kick it up a notch. So I'm gonna use Sand 3, just not even a half a pump, okay? Just like a little dot, literally a dot. And on that same brush, I'm just gonna put it in the very inner, right there. That's it. Like that, that's it. And again, like I said, I don't think this is a concealer that you would actually want it to dry down. Remember, it's a foundation and conceal, so we're just gonna go right in and buff it out. And already I can tell you that kinda made a world of a difference. Yes. That looks really good. Okay, so as beautiful as everything is laying down on my skin, um, I'm not gonna use the powders because the powders that were sent to me, which one is this? Clay Medium and Sand Medium. Both of these are just like extremely red. Well, the Sand Medium is not too too red but as you guys can see it's like an orangey reddish tone and that's just not gonna be really flattering on me so I'm not gonna use those but I am interested in the loose powders from Iman so I'm gonna check my local Walgreens just to see if they have something there for me uh, in the meanwhile, for this video, I'm just going to use my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in Banana and Deep Peach. I use Banana underneath the eye for the brightening effect, and then I use Deep Peach all over. So, that's exactly what I'm about to do. Normally, I use a sponge, but today I did eyes first, so I'm going to use this Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just use that to get up in there. And I'm not using as much powder because again, like I said, this powder kind of like, I mean, this foundation kind of like sets itself a little bit. At least that's what I'm seeing. Because it's definitely not moist. Okay, and because, like I said, this foundation seems like it's set a little bit, I'm not gonna go in with the um, Deep Peach Powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Instead, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mahogany Bronzer on a Sigma F15 Powder Brush. You can use Cold Beauty Beat All Caps to Save on Sigma.
So now on that same F15 brush, I'm gonna use this sheer um, powder, the sheer finish bronzing powder in sand from Iman. This is so pretty. It does have a sheen to it, as you guys can see. Can you see that? So it's like a highlighter basically, but it's not as beaming. It is beautiful. And I wanna use it on the apples of the cheek. Please be careful, like if you have texture, like on this side of my face, I have a lot more texture than I do on this side of my face. So you might wanna just keep that in mind if you do have texture. But this product is beautiful. And my first time using, I was like, wow. It's so pretty, like if you want that iconic Iman glow or like that Jennifer Lopez glow, for sure. You definitely wanna check this product out. Look at it, like, I like that. And if I was doing blush, I would use the Afterglow. I've told you guys about Afterglow time and time again here on our channel for this particular look i'm not gonna go with any blush or at least i am i'm just not gonna go with this one and i think we're just gonna complete it here like i really like this i'm not gonna use any of this afterglow but trust me when i tell you guys definitely whatever i'm gonna use it it just gives the most subtle most beautiful glow to the skin I don't normally tell you guys what products you have to have to purchase, but trust me, Afterglow from Iman Cosmetics, especially if you are a bit nervous about blush, like you're not really big on blush because you're not necessarily sure what's going to look good on you and you don't want to look clownish, make sure you pick up the Iman Afterglow. It's less than 20 bucks. It'll last quite a bit and trust me, it's extremely hard to look like a clown with this product it's just gonna lay beautifully on the skin and it's gonna give you the glow that you're looking for plus it's gonna give you a lot more of your color back okay medium to deeper skin tones you definitely want to check this product out it's bomb it's beautiful and now i'm gonna set using the gerard cosmetics to slay all day i'm gonna use the lavender And for our lips, we're gonna go into Disco Fever from Juvia's Place, the collaboration with Fumi de Salu Vault. That's also on the eyes. Mmm. Smells good. Ah, ha ha. That's all I have for you today, Beauty Bees. If you made it this far into the video, you are most certainly a winner. Hats off to you, my love. Your 2021 is gonna be extra bright, all because I said so. <laughs> No, but seriously, thank you so much for coming back to our channel. Thank you so much for viewing this video. Also, thank you so much Iman Cosmetics for sending me this lovely package. And to Iman herself, thank you so much, Queen Mother. Love you so much, and I hope to meet you one day soon. Until then, stay safe. If you guys love Iman Cosmetics, the Conceal Foundation, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you also love this foundation. Uh, do you have the small redness that I have seen with the foundation? Although I think it's beautiful and you know it's going to perform and photograph beautifully. I mean, come on, like Iman is like the mother of all models. Are you kidding me? Iman is one of the world's most photographed women. So I'm sure that this product is gonna look amazing in photography. If you have tried this foundation, if you haven't tried this foundation, either way, 
leave me a comment down below. You guys know I love to hear from you and I'm not gonna continue to ramble. I'll be back soon. Make sure you guys uh, keep up with me on my social media platforms. Again, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook, all Byron Shears. It will be linked down below so you guys can have easy access to me. All of the links of the products that I use, they are down below. Any affiliate links that you guys would like to use that help support me, support this channel, support your bae. Thank you so much. I thoroughly appreciate all of the love that I've been receiving. Thank you so much, you guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on the way out. Love and light, but most of all, be beautiful. Later. <laughs> Bye.